Hi, I'm Laurie. I live in Virginia and I'm a lifelong Republican. This year, I joined forces with millions of my fellow Republicans in doing something we thought we would never do, vote for the Democrat, Joe Biden. We did that because we see what a threat Donald Trump poses to our democracy and also to our national security. In fact, nearly a thousand former national defense officials endorsed somebody other than the sitting president for the first time in history. They know he's a threat to our national security. I'm also a veteran, as are many of my family members. One of them is buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Today, on Veterans Day, I watched the wreath laying ceremony, and it's never hit me as bad as it did today because the man who laid a wreath there has called people who are buried there losers and suckers. We're not losers. We're not suckers. We're the patriots. He's the loser and he's lost. He lost the election. He has no respect for our constitution and he's said that several times. It restricts him from doing the things that he wanted to do, such as his perp walk across from the Lafayette Park to a church to hold up a Bible for a photo op. I worked across Lafayette Park as a civil servant for decades. I used to enjoy going there for lunch with my coworkers, but now I will remember that for the scene of my fellow citizens being gassed and shot with rubber bullets so that he could have his photo op. To me, him being the commander in chief of our military is just blasphemous. We had an election. It was a hard fought win for Joe Biden, but he did win after days and days of counting mailed in ballots because we are in the middle of a pandemic. Trump did his level best to subvert the process of our election by hiring a postmaster who would capitulate to his whims and destroy the process of mail-in votes by removing mail sorting machines from many post offices around the nation. The count went on for days. He was called the winner. Joe was called the winner on Saturday. Trump has done nothing since then but file lawsuits that have been determined against him. He's lost. He's the loser. Joe Biden won this election. He won't concede. And worse than that, he will not allow his GSA administrator to release the funds Joe Biden needs and the space that Joe Biden needs to begin transition. He told us he would not commit to a peaceful transition of power. And we're living that right now. We need to have the funds released. We need to have Trump concede this election. Joe Biden staff needs to have security clearances. They need to have funds to staff their transition staff and to arrange his cabinet. Transition is a difficult time in any election, but now it's even more so because of the instability that we have in a pandemic and a president who refuses to concede. He also rejects our allies and embraces our enemies. He is a threat to our democracy. We the people are angry and we will not stand back nor will we stand by. I encourage you to contact your elected representatives and ask them 
to please insist that Donald Trump concede this election and allow the peaceful transition of power to happen.